Hi guys, my name is Matt Bourne and I'm a senior lecturer and researcher within the sport and exercise science discipline at Griffith University. Uh, so as an exercise scientist, I'm really interested in the study of all things exercise. Uh, one of our major subfields of study is biomechanics, uh, which is concerned with the study of human movement. Uh, I use biomechanics quite extensively in my work, not only as a teacher, but also as a researcher. Uh, and most of my research is in the area of sports injury prevention. So just as a, as a practical example, um, we've recently done some work with elite female footballers using biomechanics to help understand why they are at high risk of things like knee injuries and in particular anterior cruciate ligament ruptures. So alarmingly, uh, girls and women appear to be about three to six times more likely to tear an ACL than are men. Um, and we're able to use biomechanics to help understand what factors are contributing to that elevated risk uh, and then uh, therefore help practitioners uh, and clinicians to design uh, programs uh, or, or interventions which might be able to mitigate that risk. One of my career highlights came pretty early on. Uh, I'll level with you, I never in a million years thought that I would want to be a researcher. Uh, when I was an undergrad student studying exercise science, uh, I thought I wanted to be a physiotherapist because I wanted to work with athletes. It wasn't until I did my honours year uh, and I did a small research project uh, and at the conclusion of that honours year I was fortunate enough to travel to London uh, to present the findings of that work at a uh, football medicine conference. So at that conference uh, I met a number of people and uh, afterwards uh, me and our team uh, were invited to a few of the elite Premier League, English Premier League football clubs, so Liverpool, Chelsea, Manchester United, and we're invited there to uh, present some of our work. Um, so I was a bit starstruck at the time, um, but what really amazed me is that uh, I found that uh, these uh, experts at the top of their field were actually really interested in what we had to say. Um, and they were applying some of our work, some of our research that we'd done back in Brisbane uh, to help condition uh, and improve performance in their footballers. Uh, so after that, I, I really um, started to recognise that research, uh, particularly applied sport research, can have a really widespread uh, impact, it can be really quite rewarding. So that's probably the most rewarding aspect of my job, getting to work with um, athletes, uh, practitioners, uh, coaches to, to help improve performance and to, to help reduce injury risk. Uh, biomechanics is an incredibly diverse field with a huge number of applications in not just sport, but uh, health, uh, technology, medicine. Um, so it can be really quite rewarding and there's lots of areas that you, you might en end up working in eventually. Um, me personally, uh, I, as a high school student, I didn't even study a science. Um, I did all humanities subjects and I did PE. Uh, I finished school uh, and I went and studied business. It took me a couple of years to work out that what I was really interested and passionate in was the study of exercise um, and performance. Uh, and even though it took me a few years to get there, I'm, I'm really fortunate to be in a job now where it kind of feels like I don't really have a job because I love coming to work each day. Um, so that'd be what I would encourage you to look for or find, find something that you're interested in, find something that you're passionate about um, uh, and pursue it. So uh, wish you all the best for your future careers and um, hopefully see you around the traps at um, Griffith University one day. Thanks.